Yo, it's Lux from Server Pro and welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to use and install Holodrops. This plugin adds small hologram labels above items which are dropped on the ground. It also has a feature where you can make items glow in different colors too. To install the plugin, head over to the plugin page, which will be linked in the description, download the plugin version that is compatible with your server and upload it to your plugins folder, just like so. Once you're done, restart your server and you're ready to go. As you can see, I've also got Epic Rename installed to quickly rename items in game. We have a video covering that plugin, so if you need to, go check that out first. By default, in game, if you drop an item, it will have the same colored hologram name as the item color name. As you can see, the dirt block has a white name, and then the enchanted book has a yellow name. If we go into the plugins folder and find the config file, here you can change a bunch of options. Everything in this config is commented well, so I'm not gonna go over everything. The single stack option is whether it will show a number when it's only one item. I'm going to show you how it looks in game. When I save the file and go into game, I don't have to restart the server every time, as this plugin has a built-in reload command, which is slash hdr, and as you can see it has an x1 on the end, even if it's just one item. Going back to the config, the prefix and suffix goes before and after the names. You must ensure that you write the name of your world in this list here so that the hologram names appear above the items. My world is called abstract, so that's why I put abstract in this list here. The blacklist disables the hologram displaying if it's on this list here. There's also an item glow option, which makes the drop items glow. However, they must be in the glow list below. So let's add an item name here. Now this name here is going to be yellow, but the item itself will glow in red. This is because whatever color code I add to the end of the name, the item will have the same glow color. Also make sure to capitalize the name correctly in game as well. I'm using the slash rename command, which epic rename has. You won't be able to rename this item with this command if you don't have the epic rename plugin. As you can see, the item hologram name is yellow and the item glows in red. And you can do this for any item you want. Another cool thing you can do is have protected drops. The setting for that can be changed here. If you want to only protect specific items, then put them in the list here. If you want to protect all of the items, leave the list here blank. And the big list at the bottom is the name for each of the items. You can change them however you like. And apart from that, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any plugin suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. And if you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.